So, for those of you who don't know Perul, I will actually get him to talk a little bit more about his business himself and introduce himself, but Perul is the Territory Head of the UK and Director of Finance for UK, EU and Americas for Z Enterprises. Yes. Um, Z are, I think, probably everyone will know, a, a vast Indian media conglomerate with interests in lots of different spaces, um, uh, not, just, um, not just TV, print, um, uh, internet, film. Um, you, according to my notes, you reach over 1.3 billion viewers. Billion. Okay. Sorry? Billion. Billion, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, with content distributed on 48 linear channels alone in India, uh, more than 35 localized linear channels, um, and, uh, which we'll hear about today, the Z5 streaming service. Um, you produce and distribute um, some of the biggest, most highest grossing, uh, most successful films in, in Indian cinema. Yes. Um, and uh, w w with that, I, I will hand over to you to introduce yourself, to tell everyone a bit about what you do, and, and fill in the gaps that I haven't... Uh, uh, that I haven't covered. No, thank you so much, Jack. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, and it's an honor to be uh, speaking to everyone here. Um, so, Z Entertainment Enterprises Limited is a media conglomerate, as everyone knows. Uh, you have rightly said 1.3 billion viewers across the world, around 50 TV channels in India, 35 globally, and a big streaming giant, Z5. So we produce around 500 hours of content each week and uh, catering to all South Asian diaspora in 12 languages. This is first. Second, uh, on Z5, we have close to 120 originals, around 150 exclusive movies, and 2,800 movie library of Bollywood films. Um, Current year slate is going to be 80 new releases on Z5, like exclusive and originals put together. So I believe it's a fairly good slate uh, when we are competing with the big likes of Netflix's and Amazon Prime. Um, I believe Z5 is the Netflix of Indian television uh, when we have so much of content available on the uh, app. And it's distributed globally. Uh, we are present in all the countries. Um, when it comes to UK and Europe, we distribute two channels in the UK, ZTV and Z Cinema. And I'm pleased to say that uh, last year we won or we were recognized by Grant Thornton and CII being the fastest growing Indian media company in the UK. So it was a good accolade for us. Um, and also uh, we won the best Bollywood Channel Award in the UK last year. Um, yep, so we are doing fairly well in the UK. That's great, thank you. And worldwide. So with that vast amount of content, um, the, the different interests you have with your channels, um, your, your streaming service, which is both AVOD and SVOD, um, you are, I would say, front and center in the debate of um, how best to monetize your content, um, how to window it, how to sell it, whether to sell it to others, sell it to yourself, um, perhaps, you could kind of give us some insight on how Z approach that and, and, and how they pipeline their content. Well, uh, I, can, I can start with the uh, UK and Europe distribution for front. So we operate on a freemium model for our Z5. So we have uh, free content for AWOD monetization and we have pay content for SWOT monetization. Uh, we adopted this strategy because we know the pulse of South Asian consumer. We love freebies. I mean, we love it, simply. So we, we needed to give something free to them and entice them to experience our SWOT content. And we are doing that very successfully. Uh, we have grown exponentially, I'll not say organically, in the last two and a half years of Z5 launch in the UK. And our viewership on linear channels is not degrowing, like, you know, it's stable and it's growing sometimes. Uh, because we have seen that viewership is moving on to the... Uh, streaming platforms. However, when it comes to monetization of our linear, we have uh, uh, ordinary and traditional advertising model and pay model through our fantastic partner Sky, Virgin, TalkTalk, and 9 or 10 in the Europe. Whereas for Z5, we have partnered with, uh, for AWOD, different you know, strategic sales houses, and we are filling up all the UK inventory for AWOD. So, you know, very lucky for that. And for SWOT, we have partnered with you know, a few of the uh, biggest tech companies like 
ADN and others who are giving us very good technical platform to make sure customer has a smooth journey when they are subscribing to our s -word services. Uh, so these are the basic revenue models we are, we are doing it in the UK and Europe. In addition to this, we also syndicate our content to various uh, broadcasters in the UK and Europe. Uh, yeah, we earn a fairly good amount of money from there as well. That's good to hear. I mean, your, your, um, uh, your annual report, which I had a look at um, before, before our chat, um, talks about scaling up the digital business. Um, talks about building a, scale, a scaled play by investing in content across all major languages, focusing on hybrid SVOD, AVOD model with smart windowing and content monetization strategy, and leveraging TV network strengths, strengths to propel OTT and international market. Um, that filled my bingo card in terms of what I wanted to talk about today. Um, uh, and it'd be good to may, may, maybe break some of those down. Um, and, and I think you just, you talked about it there a little bit, but in terms of smart windowing, kind of, you license the third parties, um, including outside your core markets, but you licensed international SVOD, run all your own services. We've talked about what the studios are doing. Um, how, how do you find the balance? Is, is it kind of Z first, everyone else next? Or uh, it, it kind of did, will it be kind of different shows, different different answers? Or? Well, well, money speaks. Right. <laughs> no, uh, to be honest, Z first. We we produce like I, as I said, 500 hours of content each week, and whatever content we produce, we own the IPs. Mm -hmm. uh, going forward, we all know that content is going to be playing a crucial role in any of the new digital technologies. Um, Ten days ago, we launched a new tech and innovation center in Bangalore, in India. Uh, we, where we'll be, we, we have plans to launch in the metaverse. And we'll be also launching some digital products through uh, NFTs, where basically all these digital, uh, you can say collectibles, like we are saying these days, uh, will be coming from music, movies, Bollywood uh, content, and all, and all other stuff. So that is the future. We all know digital is going there. However, when it comes to uh, making money together, we don't shy away as well. So recently, we have partnered with a good production house in uh, Middle East, where we co-produced two series, one of 60 episodes, one of 66 episodes. So yes, we are open for partnerships. Please, you know, if you have any ways to make money along with us, most, most welcome, let's speak and let's make money together. Whether it is ZTV or linear side or on the digital side, we are open. Excellent. Um, you've mentioned the metaverse and NFTs. I've got another bingo card that's almost filled by now. <laughs> um, so maybe I'd love to narrow down on, on one more little thing there, because you said then also, you said you mentioned earlier um, how your, your, your view is like a teaser, like, like AVOD, uh, like something free. Um, you operate, um, like most of the service in India, uh, uh, an AVOD and SVOD um, yes. uh, tier, tiered, um, uh, uh, tiered service. And I, I've always been interested in the balance of that, largely because, granted it was a few years ago, I, I know uh, talking to others who did that at the time, they struggled to get the balance right. And, and it, sometimes it was down to the balance of power within the business, sort of who, who shouted the most, whether it was AVOD or SVOD in terms of who got the content, um, uh, or, 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 or different strategic reasons. Um, how, it, how is your approach to an AVOD, SVOD mix? Is, is, it, um, is there no real massive distinction other than kind of how the viewers get to access it, or, or will you be holding content back just for SVOD or windowing? Is, is, there a, is there a set strategy or approach to that? Well, uh, I wear two hats, business and finance, so it's easy for me to explain this to you. Uh, when it comes to business, uh, ultimately at the end of the day, we have to deliver the P&L. Uh, whatever targets we get, whatever monies we spend on the content, we need to make sure we get 3x of the content cost and we make money from there. However, when it comes to A1 and S1, there's always a big fight. Um, all our exclusives, originals, and any third-party acquired content goes into SWOT. Viewers who have access to linear content earlier, like all the TV shows and some uh, old movies, I'll say, some Bollywood library, we put it on AWOT. And even some uh, news channel content, we put it on AWOT. Because people have access to those content through legal and illegal sources. You know what I mean by illegal sources. There are plenty of you know, millions of boxes out there. 
So we tend to keep viewers on our platform by supplying that content as kind of free uh, and we make money from there rather than letting it go to the third party pirates. So it's, it's a simple strategy from our point of view. Great. Um, one thing, again, kind of just circling back to your, to your, to your business, business plan comments. Um, you, you're investing in content across in lots of different languages. Yes. Now, um, historically, your domestic regional focus has been Hindi language. Um, I know, um, I know from, from, from following the Indian market that, that that itself is witnessing quite a change in, in, in the growth in the regional languages and how people are delivering video to them and there's more viewing happening in, in the different regional languages. But I also think you're doing um, more uh, programming with language, things with languages that aren't just um, some of the, the domestic language, regional languages, other languages. Maybe you could tell us a bit more about that and what that means in, in what you're doing internationally. So internationally, uh, we are catering to uh, South Asian diaspora in around 12 languages. Because it's not just Hindi speaking uh, expats uh, in the UK or in the Western world or across, across the world. We have a lot of uh, South, Asia, uh, South Indian languages, uh, you know, people uh, who don't have access to Z content. Because of Hindi language, there was a barrier. So we have started producing content in Tamil, Telugu, and other South, Asian lang uh, South Indian languages. And it's a big market. We all know that. Uh, so it was easy, not easy, I'll say. It was a very prudent decision to produce content in those languages and take the uh, pie of the, uh, I'll say, the money which was there, but we were not uh, monetizing it earlier. So it is, it is doing good favors for us because people are watching our content we have seen on even on Z5 and on the linear channels. So going forward, we'll continue to invest in the regional languages content uh, in addition to Hindi. Okay, um, I, will, I will come to, to, to the audience for a bit in, in, in questions. So, so shop your pencils and think of some questions. Um, you, I think, though, are, are very well placed to talk about um, some of the challenges and, and some of the operational issues of, of direct to consumer, because um, you've you've operated your premium channel channel business in the UK, um, and I always say anyone who's got the scars of working with cable TV business in the UK knows how to do things. Um, uh, so you know about the issues around customer acquisition, retention, marketing, distribution partnerships. Um, in terms of Z5, what, what, what would be, and perhaps the broader set as well, um, what can you kind of tell us about when you, as you're growing the business in international markets, kind of how do distribution partnerships and, and kind of working with um, uh, different types of players, whether they be telco, pay TV, or, or other more innovative partnerships in, in international. Is that that's a big part of, of, of your focus? Yes. So we are working with Apple. We are working with Google. We are working with connected TVs. So we have done affiliate uh, deals with uh, these platforms, and they are they are they are really helping us out in reaching to the consumer across the world. Uh, what we are looking for is now we have not done any partnerships with any pay platforms like a Sky or a Virgin in the UK, uh, but we are we are working on that because it's a different set of uh, uh, app, metrological things, and all those uh, the details we need to go into. Uh, our first priority was to reach to the consumers directly, and we have done that successfully in in the US, in the UK as well. So we are we are working on affiliate deals with third party partners, pay platforms especially in the UK and in Europe as well. So we are speaking to all the platforms. Let's see how it pans out. But uh, currently we are known reaching to almost all the South Asian households across the world uh, through Apple, Google and through internet devices. Great, great. So um, I'll just have a look and see if there are any questions in the audience. There's one right in the middle there, Simon Murray, if I can see correctly. Good to see you in person, Simon. Hope it's an easy one. Thanks, thanks Jack. Um, <laughs> hi, hi, Peril. Hi. I, I'll be interested to see, hear your views on um, the hybrid uh, SVOD, AVOD platforms, how they could work perhaps in India and other markets. Well, we are operating, uh, first of all, thank you for your question. Uh, we are operating it successfully in the UK and in Europe. Um, we have seen the traction from AWOD to SWOT. We have seen the migration of users from AWOD to SWOT. Uh, we need to hit the right chord, what content is being watched on AWOD and what to supply. 
So of course, data plays a big role when it uh, comes to how do we, and what do we market, let me, I'm using the word market, to the consumer or the viewer who's watching our AWOD content and take him to the S-word subscription. Uh, S-word on, on its own, uh, we have seen what happened to the, uh, our uh, industry partner uh, in the last month or so. However, we, I believe that AWOD and S-word has like a hybrid model. It is better for monetization of the content because content is too expensive these days. We know that. Things which were produced at uh, $100,000, $200,000 an episode, now it's gone into millions. It's not easy to monetize and ultimately at the end of the day, we have uh, shareholders we, who we need to reply back to. So yeah, hybrid model going forward, I believe, is the uh, future and we have seen the reports that the two giants of the streaming industry, they are planning to do the hybrid model as well. Any other questions out there? Got a bit more time. Welcome to. So uh, it would be remiss of me not to um, ask a question about your uh, ownership status. So if I'm correct, at the end of the year, Sony Pictures Networks India and Z Entertainment signed an agreement to merge. Um, I'm sure there's lots of things you can't say about that, and that's that's absolutely fine. But I presume um, the combined company. Um, will be flexing its muscles to, um, uh, with maybe, maybe to get more premium content. Uh, is there anything in particular from that that, that drives your activity? No, absolutely. Uh, so as Z and Sony has decided to merge, and we'll see you know, the timings, uh, how and when it happens. But it will create a big entertainment giant. Uh, both of the companies put together, they will have two big streaming platforms, Z5 and Sony Live and also around 75 plus TV channels. It's a big choice for the wider uh, you know, consumer base across, across the world, not just India. And uh, both of the companies, they have different uh, you know, synergies, culture, and the, when they will combine, I'm sure it will be a space to watch and world will witness the, uh, like it will be a history when, when we'll say, history is to be made. Any, any, any chance you may challenge uh, Disney Hotstar for the IPL rights in India? Or? Well, no comments, but let's see. <laughs> Great. Um, I think we're, we're near there. Are there uh, just to answer a final question, if there is one. No, I think, I think that's it. I think we're pre pretty much on time. Um, well, if I could just uh, ask you to, to put your hands together and thank uh, Parul for the Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.